Correct. That, that were mm. you cannot prove 100 percent. So you go directly to God and uh, take uh, uh, the power, uh, see the power of His creation. Yeah. Yeah? Exactly. So what we say is, we worship God alone, and we don't worship man. So we don't worship Muhammad, we don't worship Moses, we don't worship Jesus, we don't worship Adam, right? So we worship God alone. And that is the natural position of human being. And Allah tells us, you know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tell us that every children, when they're born, they're born believing there is one maker. Yeah. Did your friend told you that? Yes, yes, yes. like um, children are born Muslim. Born Muslim. Yeah. It doesn't mean that they know everything about belief, but they know there is one maker. And it's their family, friends, and the external people will change their original way and, and change their belief from oneness of God to something else, you know, corrupted belief. So, from my perspective, I don't believe in the conflicts, religious conflicts. As long you know, you believe the correct position, you don't have to be involved in the conflict, right? Because the conflicts are made uh, by men. Yes. Yeah. So the God, God endowed with you reason. Yeah? Right, wrong, right? Good and bad. So you clearly know that God is unlike the creation. So therefore, I'm going to worship Allah alone. Simple, correct. So we, yes. So if we look at our logical understanding, then we can worship Allah alone. And now, in order to worship Him, how do I worship Him? This yeah. is an information we need. I understood you have a set of rules. Yeah. And um, there, are, there are reasons why they are in a certain way. And because I'm living uh, in Europe, in the Western world now, um, I come from information that I got uh, here in Europe. And then seeing you, what you do, and the uh, uh, what the Quran says, how to worship, it makes sense because there are some things that uh, Westerners practice and uh, the Quran also says to practice. Yeah? Like when you bow, you put your head Yeah, down. put head to the floor, yeah. So this in, uh, in um, Pilates, for example, also you, you put your uh, head down because it releases the negative thoughts. And, and I mean, I, if you look at our physical body, so our feet is the bottomest part, the lowest part. Our head is the top part, right? So when we bow down to respect, show the gratitude to God, I actually putting my top part of my body to the floor. And then when I go there, I say, Subhana Rabbi Al-Ala means, Glory to, the, uh, glory to the Most High. So this is the highest form of worship and that can only go to God. And this is only for God only. So I can't do that to my mother. I can't do that to my king. I can't do that to my fellow human being. Doesn't matter how powerful is he. This is only reserved for God. But you see, in a struggle of power in Western society, people want you to bow to them and worship them. Yes. And the, there are many people even at yes. work who yes. try to do that. Correct, correct. Yeah? And some, they, they actually yeah. follow this to yeah. be able to have a better position, to yeah. have a good, a better salary, mm. you know, when you worship somebody like uh, mm. you bow to God, yeah. they feel good, they want to reward you. Yes, somebody. yeah. But it's very hard to, uh, to make it in this world when there are so many influences. So that's, that's what we say in Islam. Islam will give you liberty. From where? From the enslavement of the society. Society become our God means they're giving us a way to think. What should we discuss? You know that society even tell us to not to discuss about politics, not to discuss about religion. Do you know why? Because they don't want you to find the truth. And the moment you try find the truth, you break the chain of slavery of the society and you will surrender yourself to God, which is the true helper when you are in need. Right now, Islam comes with guidance. Why guidance? What's the point of guidance? 
guidance is there so that you don't follow any other guidance. Because why? This is an approved guidance so that you don't follow the wrong guidance. Now, we need guidance, doesn't matter whether we like it or not. But the Islamic guidance is the truth in it. Because why? This came from a source which is called Al-Haq. Al-Haq is one of the name of God. Means he is the source of truth. Whatever come from him is absolute truth. Absolute correct. So then Allah revealed, the creator revealed this information. Why? So that you, me and everyone else do not get confused. We don't take any other role model. Now you have that book. You know that truth. Why are you are not accepting it? Or are you thinking of doing it? Becoming a Muslim? I think it's more complex and you, you should have in mind one thing. Mm -hmm. Women follow men. Yeah? It says Quran as well that women are submissive to men. No, it said that man has a degree over woman. Okay. Yeah. So what does it mean? It, it means the men are the decision maker. And Allah said, The men are caretaker over women. Means men are in charge of women to look after, help, you know, provide all this need. So women does not need to work. And the man should provide for her. Okay. And even if you earn something, it is for you. So you when can, the you're to keep. man has the right faith and does the right thing, yeah. women will follow naturally. Yes? Absolutely, I agree with you. But in Europe, you should have in mind, uh, we are mostly Christians, mm. that women follow the men yeah. Yeah, in the family. So if the men are Christians, Catholic, or Orthodox, they will follow them. It's very hard for a woman to get out of the religion. I tell you one thing. That Christian man actually not following the correct guidance. It doesn't matter. I'm saying just the fact for a woman it's very hard to get out of the religion. I understand from a social point. I understand from a social point of view. However, the truth is not uh, uh, in in the cover of the societal boundary. Truth is outside of that. Truth is God given you reasoning. God, you know. God instilled with you all these faculties of reasoning and thing, and then you know what is truth and false. So, so society should not lead you to your own destruction. If you know, it's, it's already you are in destruction. So, Allah said, why you are following society? You know, this, it reminds me of, you know, when our Prophet, peace be upon him, when he was talking to the pagan Arabs, he's, he asked them, okay, who created the universe? And they used to say, the Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Then he said, then why do you worship this statue and stone? They didn't create the universe. Do you know what they used to say? They used to say, we see in our forefather following it. Exactly. Now, what this answer is not a logical answer. If you look at this is an answer. I agree this is an answer. But is this is a logical answer. Logical, it's about survival, okay? Because if the one who rules the family doesn't, you don't want to make enemy with the one who rules over the family, because it means you'll be outcasted. Yeah? So you, you, we people need to have in consideration. The truth is here. But to be able to get to the truth, there are all sorts of relationships that restrict that. I think there is an idea of conflation here. I'll tell you why. When we, a husband and wife in Islam, the woman in Islam is not worshipping the man. Right? Yeah. We worshipping God alone. And the prescription by who? Prophets and messenger and the book. Now, if a Muslim man goes against the faith, she can happily renounce him. Okay? Yeah. Now, now in that instance, signify or a, give an example that faith is not based on the relationship. It's based on the unseen matter. And when you believe in Allah and his messenger, this is the greatest truth in the planet. And then we take the guidance from them. 
if now that is a Christian problem, but this is not a Muslim problem. And I, I, I'm, I'm trying to help you, but I know. The thing is, um, what I'm saying, that we are social, social yes. beings. Yes, we are so social beings, yes. When you take a person who wants to follow the truth out of its natural environment, mm. it will become very hard. Yeah? It's like putting a person in a jungle. I, I fully understand. But if the message comes with that after life, and you go to the grave. Are you taking your husband with you? You can consider only if you take your husband with you. Yeah, but uh, let's be practical and uh, let's see what's happened before uh, arriving to the point, that point. No, but then again, how do you know that that point will not come? It's inevitable reality. Exactly, but it also matters how you live your life. But then, you, if you live your life in a way that pleases to God, then you also save him there. So when I'm saying, if you are making your decision based on your family and circumstances, then you know what? Majority of the time, if you look at Quran, you will see Allah said, said don't follow your forefather. Don't follow the society. Honestly, do you know why? Because these are the, not the parameter of truth. Yes. There is a reason why Allah sent messenger. Why? So that you don't follow society. And he is saying, okay, Society, cross. Messenger, tick. Why? Why didn't Allah say, okay, Allah said, oh, okay, follow the society and whatever you think is better. Allah didn't say that. Why? Because people use their subjective mind to generate guidance, which is a faulty one. And if you follow faulty guidance, you know, you will not end up on the right destination. I with you, so listening with what yes. you're yes. it means just that it is the right time and the right place to making to make the right decision. And until that time comes, things mm. will be silent. But what I would say to sister, you are a very humble sister. I would say, you know, nobody guide nobody. I know you are going through, you considering family, you you love your family and everyone around you, and I know that faith has a consequence. But you are considering your eternal life based on these people when you are going to your grave alone. I am saying you make your own decision based on the truth. Yes, that's one part of the thing. And also the synchronicity. Synchronization, yes, yes. with the family, yes. With when I'm not saying it's easy. When is Don't right get me wrong. I'm not when saying it's easy. When is the right time? You know, because also family has moments up and down and when they are more susceptible to receive an information and when they are not open to receive information. No, I understand what she's coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's difficult. It's difficult. Allah is so difficult. No, don't get us wrong. We understand. It. This is a difficult scenario when you are loved and around. And I think what I can suggest to you, my sister, we give a new Quran. Read through it. And do one thing every time ask allah just say oh creator of the heavens and the earth please guide me because he's the really one who can help you yes, you have the information you have the friends who's talking to you about islam i think in every religion there are some common things which one is prayer so uh, but not all religions could be right yes yes not all yes but most of them have something true in, in yeah, them. Of course, we don't deny there are general goodness in, you know, when, when a religion says, speak the truth. Yes. You know why? How do I know it's true? Because it's aligned with the final scripture, which sent by Muhammad, which Allah sent it to Prophet Muhammad. So Allah said, this book is a Muhammad, means it's an authority over other books. So the Quran came, why Quran came? Quran came, people are in confusion from how many? Five, six hundred years. People, there are a group thinking he's God. There are a group thinking he's half divine, half man. There are a group thinking he's prophet. There are a group thinking he's fully God. So look, everyone in confusion, how many groups? So what the creator of the heavens and the earth is watching it. And it is our right that God sent us a guidance to clarify what is, what should we follow. Now the final scripture at your hand. And Allah said, look, Jesus didn't come for me and you. You know what? He's only come for the people of children of Israel. 
Muhammad peace be upon him Allah said wa ma illa rahmatan lil alamin means he Allah sent him as a mercy for mankind another place Allah said wa ma arsalna ka illa kaffatan lin nas he is a witness means whoever knows Muhammad peace be upon him and his message is clear to him and if he or she deny he will have to face the consequence if he doesn't follow that because there is only one truth just like my brother remind me so my sister on that note i want you to think and make some prayer to allah ask allah sincerely that allah guide you yeah thank you look thank after you. yourself yeah thank you for uh, no problem i hope you know take this you know make this into your thought process you know so that you know no worries when time time comes but right you know what times it's a, it's a very important thing we don't know when we die the date of birth DOB we know, but DOD we don't know. Yeah, but until the last moment you still can say. But how, how do I know when is that? No, we can't guarantee even one minute. You don't know, but when you are in that moment, on depends on circumstances, you can still say. No, I think you have to be hopeful that Allah gives you long life. But at the same time, my sister, we don't know. This life is very short. And look, the message with one great reward of eternal life with no pain and there are suffering awaiting for those who reject the rights of god imagine all those oxygen you are taking you have not paid no money to god and god doesn't want money from you all allah want is your gratitude even if you don't show your gratitude that will not harm allah by any means but it will harm you because that ungrat ungratefulness Allah knows better. Of course, of course. So let's hope for it, my sister. And it was a pleasure talking to you.